In this video, I just want to quickly take you through Neurogen's and Bing's latest product, which is the Math Worksheet Generator. Now, this is an online tool which you can access uh, through the internet, of course, which means regardless if you are on a PC or Mac, you'll be able to use it. Now, once you log in, uh, you'll have a option right here, the Math Worksheets Generator. Click Access Now. And then, depending on what package you per purchase, you'll have an option between the, uh, the front end, the pro, premium, and the elite. Now, these all have different features and different add-ons. So depending on what suits your business needs best, you may go for a different package. Now, the full details of these will be released in, in due course but for this video I'm just going to show you the elite package so that's the top package with everything included so let's jump right in so click access now and then let's enter the name of our project test it to create collection and then if we just click on the collection here like so now as soon as you um, go into this, you'll notice, and if you've used uh, Neurogen's products before, that what you get is a what you see is what you get editor, which is great and super easy to make any amendments and adjustments that you want. A bit like Canva in a way, if you were. Um, so the first thing I want to show you is if we go down here and we go to settings. Now, this tool has been designed by KDP publishers with KDP publishers in mind. So what you have here is an array of popular KDP trim sizes that you can choose from. And it will just click update and you can update like so. But let's stick with um, 8.5 by 11 inches to start with. Uh, we can choose whether we want a page number at the bottom and of course uh, different styling if we want like so and we also have the option to just put in margins and display them so the default is 0.5 inches all around and if I click update here this will give you a guide to make sure any of the content that you create doesn't go outside your margins. So now we've got our page set up, let's jump right in and make some puzzles. So on the side here, we're gonna click Math Worksheet Templates. And then what you'll notice here is there, and again, this depends on what package you purchase, but there are an array of different options here. So you have Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, step multiplication, lattice multiplication, long division, time, fractions, decimal, and percentage. And then what you'll notice is in the top right hand corner here, you have an option to view more. And what this is, is a variety of different styling and format that you can choose to have your math um, worksheets in. And this is the same for everyone. They all have a variety of different styles that you can choose from. But let's jump right in. Let's um, start with a multiplication. And let's go for, let's go for this style right here. So now by default, it will put in uh, generated puzzles for you like this. But down the left hand side here, we have options where we can customize our um, array of puzzles. So our first option here is to change the amount of rows and columns we have. So at the moment we have 10 rows and three columns. So that's 30 um, puzzles, um, maths problems per page. What we can do is we can increase this. So for example, we've got quite a little bit of gap 
uh, in between each one. So we can increase, uh, let's try 14, click update. Now, as you notice, that has gone off the page, but what you can do here is you go to alignment and click fit to row and fit to bottom, and it will then fit these in again um, to your margins and your requirements. So once you're happy with how many rows and columns you have, we've got little items here regarding the grid item width and height and spacing. So this just plays around, gives you full control over your spacing between puzzles and you can obviously play around with the height. Gives you full control over how you want your puzzles to look. I'm just going to go back up here and fit them back in again, center it up. Now, our next option here is our is for our operands range. So what this is um, basically is a difficulty. Um, as you might imagine, one to nine is relatively simple, but what you could do is increase this. Say for example, you might want to go from 50 to 99 and 50 to 99. And now I'll see that's a little bit more uh, complicated. And again, it's messed up um, our um, settings. So what we can do again is fit them in and it's still over a little bit. So what we can do is up here, you see we've got an option for our font and our font size. We just decrease our sizes. Perfect, there we go, like so. And then if we go down now further, we have um, option for operand settings. Now, um, by default here, we have the result missing, but you can change this. We have the first operand operator, second operand or result. For example, if I put on here, first operand missing, like so. But what you can also do is if I add uh, first operand and operator in, and then what you can do is you can randomize these. So it varies between which one is missing the first operand and which one is missing the operator. Or alternatively, what you can do is just alternate these. So each one alternates between um, operand and operator all the way down. Um, <clears throat> our next option here is to control, let me just take that back to missing our first operand. There we go. Our next option here is to obviously choose our star index. So that's the number that our um, math puzzles or equations or problems uh, start with. Default is one, um, but obviously depending on your situation and if you're creating a variety of different um, maths uh, worksheets, you may wish to start your next page at a different number, for example. And then if we go down further, we have options here for our index type. So that's our styling of our numbers here. We can have a dot uh, either side or circled. As you see, updates on here. Next is our index margin. So what that is, is our gap between our um, number, numbering and the actual uh, problem. And then we ha now have options here where we can choose our different um, block border type. So we can have a line, a box, a circle, like so. And we can obviously change the thickness of this, make it much, much thicker. And we can change our styling, solid, dashed, etc., and change our color. And finally here, we have options for our um, padding and our symbol side padding as well, which is these here. And you can adjust them as you require. 
Now, once you're happy with all that, obviously what you can also do, what I briefly touched on earlier when I um, modified the um, font size, is that you can, of course, you can change the color and you can also change the font. Now, what you have here is an absolute ton, ton of different fonts that you can choose from. And obviously, it will then update in here. And then once you're happy with that, that's brilliant. So now we've got our first page. Now, what you want to what you want to do uh, from here may vary. If you want to um, create lots of pages that are similar, what you now can do is click on the bulk clone tool. Now what this will do is bulk clone this page and your formatting, etc., over multiple pages. So this is good if you're creating, for example, a bigger section of um, maths problems. Say, for example, you're doing easy, medium, hard, or you want to do different sections on multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, etc. So what you do is you just type in here how many pages you want to create. So I have to put 10 and clone. And then if we go down, you can see I now have all these different pages with different maths problems on. Now, if you want to create up an entirely different sort of um, maths problem, what you do is we go to uh, the add page tool here and we go back and then we'll just choose a completely different um, one let's go in addition this time and let's go for let's go for this one here like so now again you'll have the um, exactly the same options um, as before for different stylings and stuff. Obviously where different ones have slightly different borders and features, you may have a few different options in here, but the basic principle is the same. And again, you can change, for example, again, the difficulty, the rows, the columns, etc., etc. And then again, once you're happy with all this, you can then um, just bulk clone again, like so. 10 again and then we've got 10 more pages now also what you can do on here is obviously this is a what you see is what you get editor so you can um, for example add text if you wanted to do a title you have the option uh, down here now these are depending on what package you get you may or might may not have access to these but you can put in a variety of images. And if you don't have access to these, you can obviously um, upload your own images as well and put them onto the worksheet. You can just upload here, drag on there. Now, once you have your completed um, book or worksheets, what you want to do is here, you click up here, show solutions, and then we want to generate the solutions for our, our maths uh, problems. And if you go down here, you can see it's listed all of our solutions by page item and our number here. So what we do, we've got that. So we go back here, like so. And then we see our solutions at the end here. So now once we are completely happy with what we got, we can just download it. Now, depending on what package you have, you may have different options here, but in the, um, the full package, you have the options for PNG, JPEG, PDF, PPTX, which is of course PowerPoint files. Now, if you download this PDF, that will be ready for you to upload straight away 
uh, onto KDP and publish your books. Now, I hope this quick overview of the math worksheet generator helps you. Thank you for watching.